mites on a honey bee. The bee's compound eye is seen here at lower left. These mites are relatives of ticks and spiders and are parasites of the bee. They feed by cutting into the surface membranes of the bee. In large numbers, they can devastate colonies of bees, which is of particular concern since bees are often agriculturally very important as both pollinators and honey producers. A human ovum with sperm. Only one sperm can penetrate into the ovum. Then the surface immediately changes and becomes impenetrable for other sperm. The head of the penetrating sperm then detaches and moves to the core of the ovum in order to unite with it. The sucker of a leech. These blood sucking parasites have two suckers, one at each end of their body, which they use to attach themselves to the victim's skin while drinking their blood. The surface of a human fallopian tube. Fallopian tubes are ducts that lead from the ovaries to the uterus. The epithelium consists of columnar cells, many of which have cilia seen here in pink. The cilia beats towards the uterus, aiding transport of the egg from the ovary. Colored blue are the secretory cells with their microvilli projections. These cells secrete a substance that maintains a moist environment in the tube and may provide nutrients for the egg. This is aloe, which belongs to the lily family and possesses succulent leaves. The picture shows a pore or a stomata found on the underside of the leaves of aloe plants. By opening and closing the pore, the plant regulates its vapor and metabolism. Aloe plants are known throughout the world for their medicinal uses. The tip of a rusty iron nail. Rust is hydrated iron oxide and results from a reaction between iron and atmospheric water vapor and oxygen. This corrodes and weakens the original iron structure. The flaky structures seen here are bits of rust that are coming away from the nail. A jewel orchid pollinia. The jewel orchid is also known as Hey Maria discolor and has a distinct pollinia. Two pollen-bearing pollinia are produced at the tip of the anther where each pollinia is a pod housing waxy pollen grains attached to the filaments. Pollinia are transferred to the body of the pollinating insect and then to the stigmatic surface of another orchid flower. Most orchids have waxy pollinia and some species of the milkweed family also have pollinia. A larva of a phantom maze or glass worm. This larva floats horizontally in the water and lies in wait for its prey, almost invisible as it is transparent as glass. Only its massive mandibles are shaded, while the eyes are necessarily black since they are meant to collect and observe light. The strong feelers detect vibrations in the water and so aid in tracking down its prey. Forty-seven serotypes of adenoviruses are found worldwide. The incubation period of the virus is 5 to 8 days. One type can attack the epithelial cells of the upper respiratory organs, which progresses like an angina and causes potentially fatal pneumonia in infants. Another type causes only conjunctivitis of the eye, which generally cures itself. A third type causes enteritis of the small intestine in toddlers and small children. The infection is transferred by fecal-oral contact and through fluids. The embossed writing on the side of an English one-pound coin. Hairs on the foot pad of a tarantula. These tufted hairs have a large surface area, enabling the tarantula to grip smooth surfaces. Mosquito egg raft with hatching larva. Culex species of mosquitoes lay their eggs in the form of egg rafts that float in still or stagnant water. The mosquito lays the eggs one at a time sticking them together in the shape of a raft. 
An egg raft can contain from 100 to 400 eggs and larvae will hatch from an opening at the tip of each egg case. The eggs go through larval and pupal stages feeding on microorganisms such as plankton before developing into adult mosquitoes. This is a spinach. These are human embryonic kidney cells. The cells are easy to work with in labs and so are widely used in biological research. Cake sprinkles which are made from corn syrup, sugar, corn starch, wax and artificial flavors and colors. A drawing pin or a thumb tack which is used to fasten items to a wall or board for display. A tapeworm in the cysticercoid stays. Tapeworms are parasitic flatworms that live in the digestive tract of their vertebrae host. The larvae develop into the cysticercoid stage in the host's liver and intestinal tissue. Eggs of the cabbage white butterfly. The sculpted egg shells are made of a protein called chorionin and have aeropiles or breathing pores that allow air to flow to the developing embryo. These eggs are laid in batches of up to 100 to 150 on the underside of brassica plant leaves, hatching after about 10 days. Once hatched, the caterpillars feed on the leaves. A single electron transistor. Like the larger transistors, it is designed to replace and has three parts, positive and negative terminals in the lower left and right with a gate at center situated in the few nanometers between them. Altering the current on the gate alters the state of the transistor from on to off. In a normal transistor, this requires thousands of electrons worth of charge, but this device can be activated by a single electron. This means more transistors can fit on a silicon chip, making it faster, more powerful and more efficient. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a pigment that allows them to carry oxygen around the body. Non-mammalian red blood cells such as these are oval in shape and contain a cell nucleus. Human red blood cells are disc-shaped and do not have a cell nucleus. Saffron is a spice derived from the dried stigmas of the saffron crocus flower. Also visible in this image are crocus pollen grains. The three stigmas from each flower are picked by hand during autumn and quickly dried to be used either for cooking, flavoring, or as a colorant. By weight, saffron is the world's most expensive spice. A caterpillar. A nematocyst from the tentacle of the box jellyfish. This box jellyfish belongs to the cubozoa group of cnidarians. Like all cnidarians, cubozoans possess nematocysts, cells that fire a barb and transfer venom. When a nematocyst contacts something that might be prey or predator, the barb uncoils and fires from the capsule along with toxic venom. Dander on dog hair. Dogs and cats produce human allergens. Pet dander is the material shared from the body of various animals, commonly cats and dogs. It may contain scales of dried skin and hair. Substances with dander can cause human allergies. An allergic reaction is a histamine reaction that is usually characterized by coughing, wheezing, itching, nasal congestion, rash, watering eyes, and sneezing. Pollen grains on the anther of a Chinese hibiscus flower. Pollen grains are the male gametes or sex cells of a plant. The grain has a highly sculptured outer wall, which may assist in its dispersal by improving the adherence to pollinating insects. Pollen grains are microscopic, usually about 15 to 100 microns across, and just a pinch of pollen powder contains thousands and thousands of grains.
the sensory organ of a female black pine jewel beetle that allows the beetle to locate radiation released during forest fires. The female beetles fly to charred trees to lay their eggs. The larvae then develop undisturbed, without competition from other species. Each sensor consists of a finger-shaped extension which is embedded in a cuticle ball which is filled with water. Infrared radiation from the fire hits the cuticle and the water expands. The resulting increase in pressure is transmitted to mechanoreceptors. This image shows one of the two sensor groups that are located on the ventral side of the beetle. Bacteria on a mobile phone Tests have revealed that the average handset carries 18 times more potentially harmful germs than a flush handle in a men's toilet. With frequent use, phones remain warm, creating the ideal breeding ground for bacteria. With touchscreen phones, the same part of the phone touched with fingertips is pressed up against the face and mouth, increasing chances of infection. A leaf hopper this insect has a ball-bearing appendage growing from the back of its thorax. The appendage, which is present in both sexes, is thought to deter predators or to help camouflage the insect. A ballpoint pen scribble The first cleavage of a clawed frog egg A deep ocean scale worm. This species of worm lives on the edges of hydrothermal vent 2500 to 3000 meters below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. They feed on bacteria that live directly off minerals released by the vents. The worms also host a population of symbiotic bacteria that may supply the worm with additional nutrients. Hydrothermal vents are found along geologically active zones deep underwater. The vents release superheated water and dense mineral deposits, forming huge towers that support a wide variety of fauna. An Artemisia flower Each flower head of this flower is actually a composite of many smaller flowers, a characteristic of the compositive family to which this plant belongs. Male and female reproductive structures in color brown are seen within each true flower. Surface of a sugar crystal The heart's chordae tendinae, also known as heart strings, are delicate thread-like bands of fibrous tissue that attach the papillary muscles on the internal heart wall to the heart valves, allowing the papillary muscles to control the valve flaps. Details of a beetle's foot This image shows the profusion of tiny hairs that this beetle has, enabling it to grip and climb slippery surfaces easily. Often known as frog beetles because of their long back legs, these colorful insects with a metallic sheen on their exoskeletons are killed by the thousands for the art market where they are dried, framed and sold. They are found in an amazing array of colors from variations of red, blue, and green and originate in Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand and Malaysia. A used guitar string These are crystals in the roots of the cannabis plant. The exact composition of these are currently unknown and their role in the life cycle of the plant is a mystery. 